Well, I'm loading a Hitachi excavator. Uh, going to Maryland. It's uh, once again, it's a used machine. Because of the uh, Canadian dollar being so cheap. So most of what we do now is uh, use machinery going to US because it's uh, it's very cheap for US buyers now to get Canadian stuff. So it's like because a hundred thousand dollars now for them it's seventy thousand dollars, right? So if a machine costs hundred thousand, they're saving thirty grand just because of the of the exchange rate. And Canadians don't buy don't buy um, new machinery like they used to in the US because it's very expensive.
Machine sits, sits pretty good. Now I just need to. I just need to uh, rehook and then chain it. And that's it. So as I was saying, most of the stuff now that's being shipped is uh, used machinery from Canada to the States. And I'm going to near uh, Baltimore, but not the port. Someone, I guess somebody bought this machine. So my job is to deliver it to the States. Well, one thing I forgot to check was the the tracks because if it's dirty, it has to be washed. Well, uh, the, the excavator is getting a bath behind me over there, and I got all my chains on, and uh, just need to put my flags and signs. And I'll be ready to uh, ready to roll. And in other news, I bought I bought this uh, filter, but that's my uh, cabin filter because that one, the one I washed, it was no good. But these are like 20 bucks Canadian, you know? Maybe what, 15 US? It goes in there. I just have to, tonight probably I'll have time, I'll just open this board uh, in front of the passenger seat and put this in. And the other thing, I was uh, did a review of this, right? When it was falling off when I was doing a car wash video. So I bought, I bought this little guy here. Uh, it's uh, aftermarket, it's not GoPro, but... So it, it fell off two times in the car, but third time it is it's you know it was holding so I just need to clean this and uh, you know warm it with my breath maybe spit three times and turn around two times uh, clockwise and one uh, uh, once uh, anti-clockwise and it should hold the only thing I don't like is that it sits like this so each time I, you know I want to do maybe some time lapses when I'm driving with the GoPro just let it rip for like 15 20 minutes and then do like a Short video. The only problem with this is that each time I connect it, I'll have to change the orientation. Up, down, down, up, because the, this GoPro doesn't recognize it. Like some cameras, some small camcorders I had before, uh, they were they had this built in, so they would recognize which way is up, which way is down. So evidently GoPro is too cheap uh, to put that in. Uh, so and another thing is this is not a car right so my windshield is split 
and I have this huge visor so it'll take me some you know trials trials and testing and whatnot to see and of course you cannot see because this cheap Wi-Fi doesn't have a I cannot watch on the screen of the, uh, of the phone like what's rec what is it recording right it's like blind so you have to connect it shoot a video then download it to the computer then only then I'll be able to see which position if it's a good position bad position or maybe I'll just try it like that you know it's just that it's gonna sit right in front of me I don't think DOT or MTO officers will be happy to see a GoPro but it's pretty small but if I gonna hook it up like this that would be perfect because then I don't have to change the orientation of the camera and I can actually flip it towards myself right so you know because who wants to see the road when you can see this handsome face right <laughs> I remember one guy said uh, oh Sergio I subscribe to your channel and we, we've been watching and for some reason a lot of people like to refer to them as we like we the king you know we the queen so we have been watching but your last video it was 30 minutes and 20 minutes we were staring at your face so I have to unsubscribe so what's wrong with you Jeez, boy. okay so <laughs> how do you watch TV how do you watch uh, news who's sitting in uh, they say talking head right there's a guy and a girl in a short skirt of course in a short skirt oh by the way yesterday I talked to uh, I was at the hotel again and I talked to the girl uh, at the counter uh, and I said, excuse me, miss, uh, can you lift 50 pounds? And she, <laughs> she said, yeah, what do you need? Do you need to move something in your room? I said, no, I'm just, it's a qualifying question. If you get fired, I want you to work for me and just hold the camera in my truck. Can you do that? And maybe occasionally move chains and binders. And you must wear a short skirt. And she said, okay, if they fire me, I'll let you know. So, so there, there is hope for this channel yet. But uh, the probability of that girl joining the force is 10%. Uh, 